Hello, we're now there on the internet. I'm Jack of All Trades, and we're here for Minor Academia, Book on Your Academia. This is Season 7, Episode 15, Butterfly Effect. Last time, not a ton happened. Um, it was more or less <laughs> Shoji and uh, Koda and Mike and other heroes, Rockwalk, protecting the hospital from Spinner leading a bunch of villains, um, and, and just rioters. Some, some, some weren't specifically villains, but heteromorphic quirk possessors, um, led by Spinner, spun up by Spinner and the PLF. Trying to free Kurigiri as a part of All for One's plan. That does sound like... Well, we know in the long term All for One is done. He's rewinding himself into nothing. It was a one-time use. He's going to be out of the picture soon. He is very long-lived, so I don't know how long it's going to take for him to rewind himself into nothing. But he, he is... He's made his last move. So now it's just to the pieces that he had previously set up and what might happen with them. Kurigiri being freed would facilitate Shigaraki's escape from the coffin in the sky and many of the other villains getting out of the predicaments they're in. Uh, Toga is out there, still has Sadman's Parade in her back pocket. Dabi is doing whatever the fuck Dabi's doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's all the fights, all the groups that we've sort of got. And there's the group that are going after Giganto Makia to try and free him as well. That, that, that's, that's one we've not seen much of. Yeah, last time, it was just a fight happening on a street and an argument happening on that street. Tensions and emotions were high. Uh, Koda awakened his quirk. Spinner is revealed to have three quirks. Um, I do like, I realized this when I was editing. Uh, I think I alluded to it, but I didn't vocalize it properly last week. Spinner's mental faculties kind of failing him a bit right now. I initially thought that was because of uh, the body bulk quirk, and again, sort of going for the Hulk comparison, because he's just big, green, and muscly. Um, but also angry and very focused on that anger. Um, I think it, I think it's more so that he's not got his mental faculties because he does have multiple quirks, and we know w what the Nomu kind of are. They're, they're, they're folk, they, they just follow orders, they're not really free-thinking. Uh, which is what Spinner said last episode, as oh. All I know is uh, my orders were to, to free Kurigiri. Spinner has breached the hospital. Butterfly effect. Something small going to happen with big ripple effects. Kurigiri being freed does seem like that thing. I'm still pulling for Shirakumo to, to pull through that. Well, we'll see. Uh, roll the clip. In terms of my familiarity with the series, I have watched the entire anime up to this episode, of course. I have read the entire manga up to the end of chapter 328, which is the end of volume 33. I have seen the first three My Hero Academia movies. I have read the Ultra Analysis Guidebook. I have read the first six volumes of the light novel series My Hero Academia School Briefs. And I have read all 15 volumes of the prequel spin-off series, my Hero Academia Vigilantes, which was great. That is everything I know, that is what I'm going to be drawing from in my reaction, so possible spoilers for any of that content, which also means that that is all fair game for you to discuss in the comments down below. Okay, and let's dive on in. Let me full screen this. I am watching this on Crunchyroll. Please support the official release. You know the deal. Play. A little bit of a recap. We did also get Shoji's face reveal and everything last week as well. Um, we the audience, the characters in universe, a lot of them had already seen it. Or oh, 1A had. Yep, Spinner jumped along. The Gorilla Police Officer. I realized this recently. Um, there's a YouTube channel called Let's React uh, with Kenny and Montana, um, who have been watching My Hero. Kenny's watched it in advance. Montana's sort of going through for the first time. Uh, I realized when they were watching. Uh, Twice's backstory, the Sad Man's Parade, like, episode. Um, <laughs> Kuriuri is transported to the research building yet. Um, but I realized in that, that the police officer talking to Twice when he's had that motorbike accident, there's another one sat in the corner. And it's the, it's the gorilla guy. It's, it's this gorilla guy that we've seen <laughs> a few times throughout the series. It's fun seeing these, like, recurring side characters. Uh, specifically with the police. Now that Suguruchi's become more main as well. Oh, it's the Yoshi! It's the Yoshi, um, Doctor. 
Oh, the, oh, okay, I like this. Spinners just run off ahead. Yeah, I don't know what that sign says that's above them. I, I don't know if that's like the emergency ward or something. But I imagine the doctors are all protecting the patients who were not evacuated. Do you have a plan? Mm. They're all, they're all realising that they don't. Yeah. The spinner didn't have a plan. Again, I like different ones of these villains still having the stained mask, but it's got the spinner goggles on top as well. I keep calling them villains, but these people, inspired by Stain and Spinner, specifically Spinner, look. Spinner's cribbing from Stain, but they're they're all cribbing from Spinner. Uh, with the mask, which is great. And I really like that being... The, the moment kind of snaps them out of it, and good good foley on the baseball bat hitting the ground there, that was good. A nice, nice little moment. We haven't seen All Might at all this season, I don't think. I like him being there just for the parallel to All for One, but we haven't seen him yet. Versus, here's Toga and Uraraka for their parallel, they're both here. Dobby is still wrecking shit and cremating in different sidekicks. Shoji. Mario. Death Arms, Sad Man's Parade. Death Arms we haven't seen yet. I'm, I'm confident from that sword without that stain. <sighs> Off one fighting in a city. <laughs> I, do, I do quite like this OP. I think the, the fighting in the city shot, um, the, the MHAOPs have been a bit hit and miss with the CG city environments. Sometimes they've been brilliant, like the previous one. Other times, like this one, it, it's very shaky, it's very chaotic, it's not very easy to make out. Which could be intentional, but I, I think that's an issue. Mm, young Spinner. If, okay. Yeah. Stain. And Shigaraki, yeah. Shigaraki now. Is Kurigiri not going to be here? Look at all the people behind me! One person? Shoji, maybe? Mike! Oh, who's gonna, whose voice is gonna reach him? Whose voice is gonna reach him? Shurakumo! Shurakumo! Oh, I like Mike! I didn't even think of Mike being here! Oh, Spinner is down! The recording. Oh, All For One's voice. Oh, it's not. You don't wake up. Butterfly effect. Several minutes earlier. Okay. I'm I'm glad Mike got there. I, I I didn't I didn't even think of him meeting up with Shirakumo here. I just thought I thought Mike was here because it's great that he's supporting Eraser's kids, you know. I, I didn't even think of that. Oh, one of the ones who went inside. Who cares? Yeah. I'm not saying much here, but this is really good. I like this. And her as well, she's been shown a lot. Hmm. Okay. Cool, cool. Good, nice, nice resolution to that. I like that. Okay. 
I mean, he's, he's still... He, they've got to still have him sedated right now, right? Spinner's mask's off. Hmm. To see the world, Shigaraki envisioned. Sorry, is that a hand actually there? What? Did he bring a hand? Oh. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Oh, I like Mike making a hard choice, but I don't like this. We stopped Spinner. We stopped. We've, we've, you've protected him. You don't need to do this. Or maybe you do. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Oh. oh! Shit! Kurugiri's awake! I'm instantly warp gating! Fuck! Come on, come on, reach him! Clouds. Storm clouds or loud clouds? Storm clouds or loud clouds? Uh oh. I don't like that lighting. Sure, Kumo's still there. Shit! Spinner is down. Yeah, Spinner is down, down. Come on, come on. No, fuck, fuck, come on! <laughs> Every time, I'm like, we're so close. Oh, I hit my leg too hard there. <laughs> <laughs> BCD News! Hmm. <laughs> okay, wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that kind of makes sense. Wow. <laughs> Butterfly. Mm. Mm. You're, you're, you're going off script. Oh. Good for you. Good for you taking a stand. Especially given what we saw with the president before. Too far away for you to get there before you've burnt up, I assume. Hmm. Yep, yep. Is he gonna try anyway? Oh, yikes! And he's not flying well either. Hmm. We've also not really seen Dab Dabby fly like that before. We've seen Endeavor do it, of course. Mr. Daddy issues. Kurgiri's awake. Yeah, yeah. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Fuck you all for one. And all he needs to do, all Kurigiri needs to do is open a warp gate. And Shigaraki is through. Wherever he goes, his quirks are no longer being erased. And it's definitely been too long for Monoma to still have warp gate in him anyway. That, that, that time limit must have expired by now. Yeah, and then what, yeah, what is happening with Shigaraki right now? 
fucking smile. Fuck you. Oh, is this one gate gonna open outside? Is there one gonna open here? Oh, fuck! Yeah, the actions of Spinner or the butterfly effect, or the butterfly wing flaps. Mm. Damn. There's still so many episodes left this season. Who else is coming through? Oh, fuck! Oh, we're fucked! Oh, no! Oh, Froppy's goggles. We didn't even get to see Sadman's Parade happen. It, it happened off screen, guys. Oh, I really wanted to see, like, Toga bubble over and end up resorting to that. What, si what situation did they end up in? I still kind of do, but I, I kind of love this if we don't get to see it. It's just, twice is here. Fuck. Oh, I missed you. But you won't know which is the real one. And can Oh, several minutes earlier. Hawks, who I still have not forgiven for killing twice. I like, I like that he's like, immediately, we have to kill him. But you won't know which is the real one. Toga can still be on the island. This island can be completely fucking overwhelmed with twices. <laughs> this is episode 15. If I'm remembering right, we're getting 21 episodes this season and then one more. Ah. Yeah, yeah, it looked like they were winning. It looked like they were winning, but... Moonfish! He's there! The guy! The freak! <laughs> uh, would have been cool to see more of him. 30 to 40 minutes of Sadman's Parade, okay. Yep. Only 30 to 40 minutes isn't gonna be enough to make a massive change on her own with Sadman's Parade. I mean, they can duplicate themselves and make a fucking land bridge of genes, but... Oh, I like- I never realized it kept them cool in there. That's a nice touch. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's always just done what she wanted. Mm. I'm just gonna hope that Spinner succeeded and do Sadman's Parade now. And assuming Spinner succeeds... Uh, Sue didn't know whose blood it was. That's a great bluff. Oh. Damn. And there we go. Instantly. That is the correct way to use it. But fuck. And at that same fucking moment. A miracle. Ah. What's the word for a bad miracle? <laughs> what do you want to do? Yeah. Yeah. Scatter me everywhere, Kurigiri. Because they will just duplicate and duplicate and duplicate and duplicate. Actually, fuck! Oh, fuck! Guren said it himself. Twice has the ability to take over the fucking country. All Kurigiri needs, to, Kurigiri needs to do is drop a single twice in, like, each major city. And in 30 minutes to half an hour, Japan will be gone. Potentially. Damn. Yeah, the CG twice is. This is such a good low point in the fight for the heroes. Tomorrow will come with impunity. March of grief. Jesus, look at that! Infinite double- just pouring out of the portal in the sky. That is a horrific visual. 
What a nice laugh. Oh, look at Dobby's face. And you end the episode there. Last episode, I assumed this episode would end with Kurigiri waking up. That is what I felt they were building to. Instead, we got that in, like, the first, what, five minutes, ten minutes? When, when did... Yeah, yeah, the 11 minute mark. God, I love the League. This is a really good ED. I hope Sue's alright. There's a shot of Shigaraki turning into like a golden swirl. That's, that's interesting. Golden swirling energy is kind of Ares Rewind, like, visually, but it's not the same as that. And the EDs are always metaphorical for the most part, you know? There's occasionally the ones that aren't, and it's just like, you know, the really fun, like, snapshots of all the characters. But, yeah. You know. I'm, no, no, I want to watch the preview, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stop myself. <laughs> And hate myself for it. That was... That was a fucking insane episode. I like at the start of this reaction, I'm like, Oh yeah, last week, there was an argument happening on the street. It was a lot of people. It was a riot. It was people trying to break into a hospital. It was Spinner fucking Hulk rampaging. Um, it was... Uh, Coda's quirk um, awakening and... Uh, Shoji's backstory, but it was a fight on a street. It was a big fight. It was a fight on a street. Which was... Which if... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this episode was the consequences of that fight on that street. I loved the bit with the doctors and uh, the rioters standing down. I liked that a lot. Um... I liked the moment of that one unnamed hero uh, talking to the villain guy who'd been up on the building. I like, your words reached me, and like... It got through to people. Um, it's stuff that people should have known anyway, and... The world of MHA has many societal issues. Um, structurally, and like, foundationally. Um, and it... It's sometimes surprising how ignorant of those issues people are in this world, um, but that can be ch that can be chalked up to again how people like Bakugo with amazing quirks are like bigged up and told everything's great their whole lives. Uh, think of like Shir uh, Shigaraki's backstory um, and him like wandering the streets as a kid covered in blood, just wanting someone to reach out to him and everyone walking past, oh, I'm sure a police officer or a hero will come. I, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm sure someone else will handle it. Um, and then eventually Alpha One being the first person to offer him a hand. And that leading to all this. I really liked that brief scene with the news reporter. I didn't know where, where it was going initially until she held up the sign. But I liked that a lot. Um, Mike being prepared to kill Shirakumo, if I read that right? Uh, that he and Eraser had sort of discussed this, that if, if things do reach that point, you might have to. Or did I misread that and it was just last attempt, fucking shout and try and reach him. I did really like the shot of him in like the straight jacket with like shirt from his face through it. Still the light, the yellow of the eyes, but yeah, that, that was a great shot. Uh, that's, that's one that I'd like to see the manga panel of. There's, there's a few where like, check out. Again, I will read the manga for the, this part, for this, this season, after the season concludes. And the little bit with Spinner at the start of, oh, I'll follow you, I'll follow you, and I'm running towards this, and uh, look, look at everyone following me. In, like, the metaphor, younger him running, looking back, and then the monstrous him now, looking back, and there is no one. Great. 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 Fucking solid. Uh, 
again, the moment with all the civilians on the street, all the rioters, that was brilliant. Um, again, I would have liked more of Rocklock from these past couple episodes, just showing him doing cool stuff, cool fighting stuff in the background would have been nice. I think the same with Moonfish, um, who we saw very briefly in a still image <laughs> towards the end of this episode. Uh, it would have been cool to see more of them in the fight. But, I mean, there might be more of them fighting. There might be more in the manga. There might not be um, as an, a shorter season. They're putting the money in the right places. They're dedicating time to the right things. But me being someone who... I think I said it when um, this fight kicked off however many episodes ago now. Or these fights kicked off however many, however many episodes ago now. I would, I would, I would really like a forty-two style uh, structure to this season, where just every episode is half an hour of the fight going on, and just showing us just in real time, which it, it, it's not exactly been. Um, there's been like hopping around for structure and story reveals, um, but it has just been episode after episode, just more of the fighting. Um, which I like that this whole season pretty much has been. There was the beginning Star of Stripe fight. Uh, which facilitated Shigaraki being weakened a bit more to give the heroes more time. We got the UA traitor reveal. Anyway, that was all the first what, three episodes. And then with episode four of this season, we started this fight, and we're now in episode 15, and this fight is still going. Oh, I love it. It reminds me a bit of the Hasai Guy raid. Um, there was a lot more build-up to that one, and then the latter half of the season was dealing with the consequences of that and doing the school festival and the gentle criminal stuff. Um, but that was a really cool arc, structuring it that way. And I love that this whole season has been basically structured the same. Yeah, Kurigiri is out, and it goes just as badly as we expected. Kurigiri is a character we've not seen much of in a good while. He facilitated the invasion of the USJ, And he was a big part of that fight. And then he was guarding Tomura, of course. That that was his primary like instructions is to care for Tomura and protect him. So he was with him throughout season two as he was healing up and then the whole stain stuff again, he was protecting him. And then season three, again, he was with Tomura while the Vanguard Action Squad went and did their business, uh, helped them get away. And then he was very quickly taken out by Ed Shot. Uh, at the beginning of the All for One Battle of Kamino. Then, that's kind of been it. He then went off to find Gigantomachia and was doing his own thing in the background until Gran Torino and Sugurichi caught him. But then Gigantomachia was brought into the story by that. Um, and then he's just been, he's been locked up since then. It's like he, he played a big part all the way back in season one. And then he's, he's always been present. For sort of seasons two, three, four. And then has been locked up and in the background even more so. And now he is awake and free and back with his master. <laughs> Everyone has come to the former villa site. And shit's hitting the fan. The heroes... I'm, I'm worried for now. Because... It, it, I feel like it's safe to assume... Kurigiri will have closed the warp gate on the other end um, at Kamino. So, like, Shoto and Burnin and um, fucking Ida aren't gonna get to the villa site. For all the difference they would make in this battle. But they're, they're not gonna make it here. Kurigiri opened a warp gate at the coffin. But from what we saw, all he did was dump Mike and... Uh, the transceiver hand there, right? We didn't see him open a warp gate inside the coffin. As far as we know, there's nothing stopping him opening a, a warp gate inside yet. But he opens it, and go going by the eyes, he himself came to the site of the coffin. Dumped Mike in the hand, Eraser saw him. And that was all we saw. We didn't see what happened then, what if... Kurigiri did anything. Oh, theoretically, Kurigiri can then just warp gate around Aizawa and Manuel and Monoma and dump them anywhere else on the face of the planet. 
well out of the way of Toma and all for one. Fuck. Okay, my camera's about to die. I've just had the pop up that it's got 5% battery left. <laughs> this was an insane episode. It might take me a bit to get this edited uh, and uploaded, so bear with me. But, wow. What 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 is gonna happen with the rest of this season? I was thinking, okay, all for one's gonna erase himself. Um, Spinner may or may not succeed. Assuming he did, Kurigiri's gonna get out and help Shigaraki escape from the coffin to persist through to the final season. But all for one would be gone. Darby, I expected to get defeated. Toga. I figured wouldn't because of Sad Man's Parade, but I expected at least Dabi to go down. But now everyone's, all the villains are here, except Tomura Shigaraki. But he can be here just like that. I'm kind of expecting some hero deaths. But this is... This is too much, I think. I'm, I'm expecting some hero deaths. 3%! Okay, never mind, fuck it! I've been Jack of Trades, thank you so much for watching this! I'll see you guys next week, so enjoy being left on that cliffhanger with me. Until then, please no manga spoilers in the comments below. Everyone's been brilliant so far this season and throughout this whole show. Until then, bye.